Bartonella. Bartonella typically is, and it may be some of the, what was in the media, some of that may be a Bartonella-like symptoms. Twitching, electrical feelings in your skin, you get these kind of funny feelings, these paresthesias, feels almost like you're getting shocks. Some people can get seizures, you get significant cognitive impairment. Your mood is just, it goes up and down, like it's, it's crazy. Anxiety, panic attacks that you never had before. And feelings of rage. I mean, there are some really significant reported cases in the psychiatric literature of rage. Sore soles, especially on the feet, like I said, you get this sort of cramping in the plantar arch area. And the rash is pretty significant. It looks like a stretch marks. Like a, it's also seen with cat scratch fever, Bartonella. And typically, three drugs are needed to treat. Ehrlichia. Again, overlapping of Lyme symptoms, because typically you get infected with both. You can have respiratory problems, GI problems, fever, muscle pain, joint pains, and here you can get this nonspecific rash. You don't know what it is. It just you get this weird rash. That could be Ehrlichia. <coughs> Again, you'll see some of these symptoms, they, they're similar to the other things. Chlamydia pneumonia can give you this dry cough, shortness of breath, chronic abdominal pain, nausea, cramping. Typically with Ehrlichia, the muscle pains are worse than the joint pains. That's kind of a good way to kind of tell the difference. Joint pains tend to be less. Muscle pain tends to be more. The rash tends to be a diffuse rash throughout the extremities. So what happens when you don't get treated? What happens when you go to nine different physicians still not getting treated? And it's three months, six months, nine months and you're just getting worse. And now you're on six or seven different medications just to try to treat the symptoms. Typically, the longer the illness, the more difficult to control the infection. The need for more aggressive antibiotics and longer duration of treatment. The longer the illness, the more secondary damage typically occurs. So treatment must also include more than just antibiotics. And so what we do, again, is we treat you as a whole person. So some people, looking at your diet, quick. The bugs like sugar. You got to get sugar out of your diet. You got to get processed grains out of your diet whole plant diet, non-saturated fats, that is very significant. Diet is a very significant port, part of treatment. Food is medicine. Rainbow of vegetables, anti-inflammatories. But I know, you're sick. You crave Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Give it a week. And it does. It takes about a week, maybe 10 days. It's an addiction. It becomes like an addictive problem. Um, it's very important to stay off of it. If you're going to be on antibiotics, you have to take probiotics. You may have to take probiotics even before you're on antibiotics. Probiotics are the good bacteria that we try to use to replace some of the gut flora that's in your gut to help sort of 
fight off some of the bad guys. And especially when you're taking antibiotics, antibiotics tend to shoot without knowing who they're killing. Sometimes they kill the good guys. In fact, often they kill the good guys. So you have to take high, pros, high dose probiotics. We tend to recommend lactobacillus species, bifidobacteria species, which tends to be the anaerobic or the less oxygen type uh, bacteria. And we recommend pro-yeast type probiotics, like Saccharomyces. You may have to look at what other issues. It is not unusual that people with really bad Lyme have other things going on. Environmental exposures, heavy metal exposures. They may have to be looked at. You may have vitamin deficiencies, B vitamin deficiencies, D deficiencies. We believe we have to improve your immune system before we may go into aggressive treatment. Again, the idea is to treat you as a whole person and also to tell you we believe you're going to get better. To give you that sense of hope and partnership that we're here with you in the journey. And this is a tough journey, but we're here with you. And we want to be here. And we want you to be better, and we want you to see the light over there, not the darkness here. That if your pain is in your back or your neck, tell it to go away. Try to make it go away. Try to, like, let it release. And that that mind-body support again, is as significant as the antibiotics. That maybe meditation, yoga, acupuncture can all be very significant in improving your outcome. So the culture, like I spoke about, and this will be, I think, the end of this talk. We're going to give you about a five-minute uh, break. Write your questions. Um, I think someone will be collecting those papers. We're going to kind of look at it and see if we can uh, act as a panel to answer some of your questions. Yes, we use herbal therapies. Yes, we use other type of therapies to augment some of the treatment. Some people don't do any antibiotics and just do herbal type treatment. Yes, we have that. Um, but really, we're going to just let you ask your questions uh, on that piece of paper, and uh, we'll try to answer them after you take a break. Thank you very much for your attention, and see you in five minutes.